Hi, my name is Justin Shelf, and I'm the founder here at Patch My PC. In this video, we're going to show you an exciting new feature that we released today to public preview. This feature is going to allow you to implement third party patch management directly in Microsoft Intune in a more easy fashion. So a quick overview to show you what we actually have going on. Um, so the preview build that we released today is going to be uh, 1.8.4.2 and that adds the ability to see this new Intune updates tab. So this is going to augment the existing feature that we've had since February 2020 for Intune applications. So just a quick differentiation between the two. Uh, our Intune apps are going to show up uh, just as they always have, where it's going to automatically create a Win32 application for you that will show up within Microsoft Intune. From here, you can do things like customizations, such as automatically assigning the application within our tool. You can do things like deleting shortcuts, enabling logging for products, and just a variety of different customizations for the way the application gets installed. What's going to be new is we implemented this new feature called Intune Updates. And it's going to work very similar where you're going to have a list of products that you want to automate the publishing into Microsoft Intune. You get all the same customizations like your right click options that you can apply for different actions within an update. Uh, and you can even say you, you've already been using our Intune application feature. You can even come in here and you can copy and automatically enable any products that are enabled for the application creation for update creation as well. Um, so that's pretty much the process from our UI within the preview. Uh, you would just come in here, enable the products that you want as a software update, uh, and then it's gonna all be automated based on that sync schedule that you would already have configured. Um, so from the Intune side of things, the way it's going to work, so for example, if we search for 7-Zip, we can see that we have our application version of 7-Zip, so that's been around for quite a while, um, but in our case, we also enabled all the versions of 7-Zip for updates as well. Um, so the way that the updates are going to work, if we come in here and look, we're going to be making use of requirements within uh, the Win32 applications within Intune. So the goal is that when you come into our UI or when you deploy it directly in Intune, you would create a required assignment where you wanted to make sure that any uh, devices that are in a group that you deploy to would always be able to get this patch if it's applicable. So for example, uh, on the right-click option for 7-Zip, we've added a required deployment to all devices, and we've even created a deadline that's kind of staggered. So this is, this is pretty similar to the way that you can have ADRs and SCCM, where you can say, I want it to be available, but not a deadline for seven days, for example. So if you wanted to, you could even have multiple assignments where you could make it uh, very similar to the way that you can have multiple deployments if you're coming from Configuration Manager Automation, uh, and you can have like your testing grouping, uh, a broader test, and then production. And then you could just stagger the deadlines to make sure that you get your test in order. Um, so the way that it's going to work, whether you create an assignment directly from our tool, or you go into Intune and you edit the assignment and make it required after it's created, uh, the way that these updates are different than the applications are that we're going to have requirement logic directly added within Intune that will only make the update versions of the applications uh, required when there's an older version. So for example, if you have a device that does not have the application installed or it's not an outdated version, they're going to either show up as not applicable or installed if they're already up to date. So what that's going to do is it's going to help uh, get rid of some of the limitations where you don't really have a lot of inventory within Intune to control how you want to target since you may not know what's out of date. We're shifting that to the requirements and then we're going to be doing the detection for you so that the update version of the application is only going to install based on it actually being needed. So uh, one additional feature that we've added, if you click on the Intune options, we have this uh, Intune application utility. And the way that that works is we're going to now be able to show you the status, including the installed state, install pending, and the not applicable state. So for example, if we wanted to sort and say, let's find any of our updates that are installed, we can come in and kind of sort by that. Another helpful one is install pending. So this would be essentially the state 
of the update being required. So for example, we can see that there's an update for Thunderbird that is currently pending on three devices. That means that the deadline has not hit, but they are applicable. So for example, uh, if we went into Intune and search for Thunderbird, we can see the update for the 64-bit version. Let's go ahead and click on that one. Uh, let's go back. It might have been the 32-bit here. So let's go look at that one. We can see that's going to show that state of install pending, meaning that they were uh, required because machines had an outdated version. So the reason that we added that in the UI is because there's not really any good reporting that we can run across every single application or update within Intune. So for example, if we wanted to see the states of each machine uh, for each application, we would have to go click either the device or the application individually like this. So our goal, uh, it's currently in preview, but uh, what we're likely going to do is have an option to export this data and then uh, load it into Power BI where you can see statistics across all your devices for things like specific updates, for example, uh, would be the goal on our end. But today you can still see that data um, based on our scan utility where we would go and grab every single application and update that's deployed and bring them all back in a single console. So definitely helpful with some of the limitations that we experienced where it wasn't available directly within Intune for reporting. But outside of that, that's pretty much going to be the third-party patching option that we're bringing in public preview today. So we would love to get any feedback that you have. Uh, if you install the preview, let us know how the updates work. Let us know if detection looks good and if you're able to successfully automate and patch your Intune devices. Uh, once again, I uh, wanted to thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the feature.